The hoist tools in the Vectorworks Spotlight and Designer assist with the design and documentation of overhead stage rigging equipment. Hoists are typically placed in the drawing that already contains lighting, staging, audio equipment, and the loads that will hang from the hoist. In addition, hoists can be used in conjunction with braceworks for structural analysis. The hoist tool is found in the rigging tool set. To place a hoist, first activate the tool. Now, click once in the drawing area to set the insertion point. The first time you use the tool in a file, a properties dialog box will appear. Here, you can set the default properties for hoist objects. Note, some properties are set automatically based on the selected hoist symbol. You can also click on the hoist tool preference button in the toolbar to set the default properties at any time. For now, we are going to accept the defaults and click OK. Placed hoists can be edited through the object info palette. Here, information such as hoist number, label, and location can be assigned. The hoist 2D graphical representation in top plan view is defined by the chosen hoist type, as well as its load rating, manufacturer or function, hoist position, and other options. The different graphical representations are defined by hoist symbols. Hoist symbols, which can be customized, are available in the Vectorworks libraries in the defaults folder. Depending on the configuration settings for hoist type, function, manufacturer, and hoist position, a different symbol is used for the graphical display. For example, if we change this hoist from a half ton to a one ton, the graphic updates. Then, if we set the function to video and make sure the display hoist by option is set to function, the color changes to represent the function. After placing a hoist, the symbol for the configured hoist is automatically imported into the current file and displays in the resource manager in a hoist symbols folder. If needed, a custom option is available under hoist type. This allows you to choose a custom hoist symbol. In most cases, it is best to modify an existing hoist symbol if you need to edit the graphical representation or data of the hoist object. If the custom option is chosen, the graphical representation is based off of the chosen symbol. The additional options in the object info palette will have no effect on its representation. In addition to changing the 2D representation, there are options to adjust the 3D representation as well. The hoist position option will set whether the 3D representation of the hoist motor is up or down. There is also a realistic chain option, which will show a more detailed chain in 3D. This option may cause a drop in performance in larger or more complex files. Next, in the object info palette, the number of chain runners, high and low hook height, hook to hook distance, load trim, low hook to load trim, speed, phasing, voltage, total chain length, and cable information can be specified. The cross section, weight, and force settings are only needed for braceworks calculations. Next, we have the measurement settings. The hoist display data can be relative to the drawing origin or a placed hoist origin. The hoist origin tool is also located in the rigging tool set. The display of the hoist number, dimensions, and labels can be adjusted in the object info palette by using the set hoist number and dimension display command, or by assigning a class and adjust the class visibility. In addition to the visibility, the set hoist data display command controls the data displayed as well as the font size and style. As drawings can sometimes become fairly cluttered, the labels can also be repositioned directly. Using the selection tool, click once on one of the blue selection handles to pick up the label and click a second time to move the labels as needed. The last button in the object info palette, refresh hoist, does just that, updates the hoist to reflect any changes made in the hoist. One final note when placing hoist objects. When placing a hoist over an existing structural object such as a truss, the auto connect feature will highlight the structure to indicate when it is going to be placed there. The hoist is automatically connected to the structural system. This is required for accurate braceworks calculations.